15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. May the force be with us. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from our pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, carrying a Normal stack of Starlink launcher. satellites into orbit. Now coming up, we have just throttled down for the point of maximum dynamic pressure, or max-Q. That's when we experience the highest structural loads on the vehicle. That's from the combination of how fast we're moving through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon uh, 9 is supersonic. Increasing our velocity as the density of the atmosphere continues to decrease. Max Q. With that, we are through the highest structural loads on the vehicle. Uh, upcoming in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. First of those will be main engine cutoff, or MECO. That's where we will shut down all nine of those Merlin 1D engines to slow down the vehicle in preparation for stage separation. That's the next event back, where the first is started. and second stages will separate. Stage one starting to make its way back down to landing. And stage two will continue on with the third event, second engine start number one, or SES-1. That's where the Merlin vacuum engine will ignite and then continue to propel the second stage along with the payload to orbit. You heard the call there for MVAC engine chill. That means we've started flowing a small amount of propellant into the turbo pumps on the Merlin vacuum to prepare it for the full flow of when we perform second engine start. So coming up shortly, about two and a half minutes into flight, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then shortly after, second engine start number one. Stage separation confirmed. Left-hand side of your screen, you can see the, a view from the first stage interstage, grid fins starting to deploy. Uh, second engine start complete on the right-hand side, that glow of the Merlin vacuum engine. Shortly, we'll see fairing deployment. Fairing separation confirmed. View from inside the fairing halves, you can see them separating away from the vehicle. Now, as a reminder, we will be recovering that. Oh, awesome. You can see a view there of one of the fairing halves from going on back to Earth for recovery. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover both halves with a contracted vessel named Sheila Bordelon. First stage, left-hand side of your screen, grid fins are fully deployed at this point. Those periodic uh, bursts of white gas that you see are from our attitude control system. So the attitude control system giving some small puffs of nitrogen gas, reorienting the stage to get the engines down and the heat shield down for its upcoming events. Second stage burn continuing to look nominal. Now the uh, acquisition signal Bermuda. While the second stage is continuing on to orbit, this first stage has a couple of activities in order to make its way back to Earth. First is an entry burn. It'll ignite three of its M1D or Merlin 1D engines. And that helps to slow down the vehicle as we start re-entering the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The next event will be just before touchdown on the drone ship. That is a landing burn. Will ignite just a single center Merlin engine 
And that's what will bring the vehicle speed rapidly down to zero for a soft touchdown on the drone ship. You can see the first stage reorienting on the left-hand side of your screen. Both stages continue to follow nominal trajectories. Fantastic news from the navigation officer that we're on our planned trajectories. Now, the first stage is targeting our drone ship named, of course, I Still Love You, which is stationed off the east coast uh, of Florida and the Atlantic Ocean. We'll view looking out of the inner stage. Uh, not too long ago, we had a second stage engine in there, which is what you see now on the right-hand side of your screen. Now, the grid fins, which are those waffle-like structures that you see around uh, the vehicle. Those are more important once we get into the Earth's atmosphere. We use those to guide and direct the first stage towards our drone ship. And so as we start getting more atmospheric pressure and force as the density of the atmosphere picks up and our altitude drops, those grid fins start to gain author control authority and help direct the first stage on its trajectory. Coming up shortly, on the left-hand side of your screen, first stage entry burn. That burn, expected to last about 20 seconds, will be igniting three of the Merlin engines on the first stage to slow down the vehicle uh, in preparation for atmospheric uh, entry. Stage one flight termination system has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. You can see the plume of the Merlin one engines getting pushed back from how fast the stage is moving, rapidly decelerating. Stage one entry burn shutdown. So successful shutdown Both of those Merlin 1D to follow nominal trajectories. Successful shutdown of those Merlin 1D engines. Next burn on the first stage will be at just after T plus eight minutes. That'll be the landing burn start. Just a single Merlin engine there, uh, and around the time that the first stage uh, should touch down on our drone ship. The second stage will also conclude its burn with an event called SECO-1, or secondary engine cutoff number one. Stage one transonic. Call out there for transonic, meaning that we are starting to pick up speed in the Earth's atmosphere, sort of in that in-between range between subsonic and supersonic, meaning faster, supersonic meaning faster than the speed of sound. Beautiful views Stage of two is in terminal guidance. planet Earth with our uh, second stage Merlin vacuum engine on the right hand side. Stage one landing burn. Startup of the landing burn. You can see the drone ship on our screen. Stage one landing leg deploy. Looks like we're coming right down on target. Now, listen out here for secondary engine cutoff. Stage one landing confirmed. There's a first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Ninth recovery for this booster. flight termination system has saved. 82nd successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and SECO called out at the same time meaning the second stage engine has also shut down. Navigation officer will be doing a check nominal of our trajectory. orbit insertion. And we are in a nominal orbit. So with that, second stage is going to coast in this orbit for the next about 35 minutes. While that's happening, uh, you can take a look at this animation to see where we are in our coast phase. We'll be coming back here for a very short relight of the second stage engine to get into our payload deployment orbit. That'll be at about T plus 45 minutes. We hope to see you back then. Acquisition a signal, Newfoundland.